is get your H boy time back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be talking about something in my team that is becoming a major issue and that's really kind of within the last two weeks uh basically three weeks i do believe really kind of taking it to a new level and it has to do everything with the accessibility in my team and about how there's no in between free cards and the lock-ins. Now, before we dive exactly into this, if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button on the road towards 130,000 subscribers. Now, you guys might be asking, okay, Ty, what, what are you getting at here? I'm gonna show you guys what my favorite content drop that we've gotten all year long is. It's this one, right here. And you wanna know why this is my favorite content drop? Because when these cards came out, they were each 140,000 MT. All three of these cards are cards that people want and desire and look, there was no behind a lock -in. You didn't have to lock in any of these cards. For my Anthony Davis, right? I bought him for 140,000 MT. He graded at a nine. Okay, I've used him for what, three weeks and I can sell him back for 64,000 MT. So yes, I'm gonna lose what, 75,000 MT on him. That's not that bad for a card that I've used for three weeks. Now, why is this a problem? Name another card or name other drops that we've gotten a card that you can buy that's a good, fun card to use that you don't have to lock in for. Bill Walton, Boris Diar, Rajon Rondo. Any of those three cards really ring a bell as cards you guys really want and desire to add to your squad? No, okay? What about Marc Gasol, Sidney Moncrief, Bobby Jones? Maybe some people want Marc Gasol, but he's definitely not worth the MT he goes for not really it gary payton's fine for 14,000 mt but he's not really the card we're looking at because he's free zach levine i guess is a decent enough card uh that you could make the case for but again the lock it's blake griffin behind the lock in this set i mean yeah we had ja i guess that was decent um we had cat and, and DeRose, and those are decent cards but none of those cards are like ja yes some people really want ja but as far as cat and DeRose, and those aren't like hype beast cards or cards that are super good that people want surge is really solid so i mean i guess but when you look up and down these alan houston isaiah thomas even in the steph curry set none of these amis were very good there are not good accessible cards Every one of these cards that are good is behind a lock-in. I love the fact that we're getting free content. I do. But the free content is almost better than the than the player market non-lock-ins. Like, if you even look at what's coming in the next week, we're getting a ton of great free content, which is awesome. That is a big need in the game. But there's no, there's nothing for people, the average person to spend their MT on. If somebody is smart with their MT, like, for my example, my No Money Spent Squad series. Yes, they might have bought the discounted Vince Carter. But other than that, they might have bought Scottie Pippen, Anthony Davis, and that's it. There's nobody else in the player market that is a smart buy. If you look at my No Money Spent Squad series, guys, I've got Dwayne Wade. I've got Chris Bosh. I've got Draymond Green. I've got, uh, I've got Vince Carter. I've just got guys, basically, that are free plus the Vince Carter. If they would have made, you know, I'm just going to throw, I'm, I'm just going to throw some, some names, okay? If they would have made, you know, Kawhi Leonard, Oscar, and, and Blake Griffin, all this Friday's drop, and for each of them, you had to pay 140,000 MT, like they did with the Anthony Davis, Julius Randle, and Vince Carter, I would have no issues with it, okay? If Oscar was 140, Kawhi was 140, and Blake was 140, I would have no issues with it. Why? Because I probably would have bought Kawhi and went on with my day, right? And had no issues with it. 140,000 MT for a card that you can use for three weeks and sell them back for half the value is honestly not that bad. The bad part about this is the lock ins, guys. If you want Steph Curry, one of the best point guards in the game, it's a lock in. If you want KD, the best small forward in the game, it's a lock in. If you want Shaq, the best shoot, uh, center in the game, it's a lock in. Or it's the free grinds. You want the best point guard in the game and Dwayne Wade. It's a grind. You want the best, I guess that's the little bit of the in-between thing, but it still is a grind at the end of the day. You want Chris Bosh, it's a free grind. Like there is no, you want Brandon Roy, free grind. There's no in-between outside of, I'll say the only in-betweens is this Friday drop that we got Dr. J, Vince Carter, and Anthony Davis. So if there is something that I want to see for the future, it's drops like this because the lock-ins are getting out of control. They are. And honestly, guys, I would have no issue if Steph was behind a lock-in, if Hakeem and Drazen were absolutely elite. Because then, you know what? I could get an absolutely elite Hakeem Elijah. He's just not good. Could get an absolutely elite Drazen and not lock-in Steph. 
but that's not the case. I would have no problem with Luka Doncic if, you know, DeRozan was the best shooting guard in the game. He's not even a top five shooting guard. Yes, the grind for a free Amethyst in that set was cool. But again, there's not really a card outside of Serge Ibaka in this set that was worth it. Same thing even if we look at, you know, the, the KD. Okay, KD is fine. But name me a card that's not a lock and reward in this whole KD set that makes the top 20 players in the game. Is there any? Like, Zach Levine is probably the best card in that whole thing. And he is maybe on the verge of being a top 50 card in my team. Are we serious, right? Are we serious? If we're going to spend 140,000 MT, we're getting a top 50 verge, uh, on the verge level player? That's really sad. And, and, and I think it is something that 2K really needs to fix. Because the whole idea for me of the auction house or player market is to add guys to your squad that are fun to use, right? And if you have, let's say, 200, 100 to 400,000 MT, there's there's nothing you can do. There's absolutely nothing. And so for the people out there like, okay, you either got to spend all your money or all your time on the game. I mean, I get that perspective and point of view, but it's really easy to be no money spent. The problem is being no money spent, you're never going to get the MT for the lock-ins ever. And unless they drop cards like Dr. J, Vince Carter, Anthony Davis, it's just going to be tough. If you look up and down these collections, I'll name the cards that are top 50 cards in the game that aren't lock-ins or aren't free. Scotty Pippen, Jason Kidd, Robert Covington, uh, nobody in that set. That's not. That's a grinded set. In this Grant Hill set, got nobody top 50. Nobody top 50 here. All of these cards are top 50 cards, but again, that's the rare W that 2K gave us. It's not a lock-in. And here, Clyde maybe, but again, he's a grind. Here, Hakeem is maybe top 50 on the verge. I mean, I don't even know if he's top 50 though, honestly. Here, Allen Houston, maybe. I doubt he's top 50. Isaiah Thomas, maybe top 50 on the verge. DeRozan's top 50. Serge is top 50. And I'll give it to Robert Covington as well as John Moran. Like the Luka Doncic set, I didn't even mind because it was really a budget set. Um, and, and you didn't have to lock in for Luka because he wasn't very good. So I actually didn't really mind this set. This set, nobody. Zach Levine, maybe. Uh, this set, again, Mark Gasol, I don't even think top 50. Nobody in this set. So that's just in my opinion, the one thing that needs changed. there, And I'm not even talking about the no money spent or budget ballers. For the mid-range people, right? The people in the 100 to 500,000 MT, we need something to spend our MT on. Because right now, I'm saving it. On this account, yes, I bought Steph Curry for, for content purposes, but I've not felt the need to spend any MT. And let's say even if I didn't have Shaq, I still wouldn't have felt the need. If I didn't have Shaq, and let's say I didn't have Shaq and I didn't have Steph. So you take away Shaq and you take away Steph. I'm still not really that worried about it because I'm playing AD right here at the back of center and we're going to be just fine. Like, we're going to be just fine. And if you don't want to run Draymond without Steph, that's fine. Then you can plug in Julius Randle. You can plug in another guy. There's really no reason for anybody to spend their MT right now because it's all behind lock-ins and there's no other good players outside of lock-ins. I hope 2K changes things, man, and I hope heading into next season, they give us more good cards that are not the lock-in reward. The free cards are great. I hope they continue to give us all of the free cards through the agendas, all of the grindable lifetime agendas, even the season agendas that we got for a free amethyst. All those need to continue, but... We need to see some decent cards that are not lock-in rewards. That's going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comments. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.